What is up guys, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through a full day of eating with a twist. So within this video, I'm gonna be only having three meals for the entire day, but I'm going to be getting in three thousand calories. So a lot of people are under the assumption that in order to burn body fat or build muscle mass, that they need to be eating around the clock, snacking every single hour on the hour. And that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, it can very easily be done with only two to three meals per day. So for those of you who are short on time or those of you who just enjoy eating larger meals as opposed to eating smaller meals throughout the day, this is the perfect video for you. And then I'm gonna break down exactly how you can go about doing that. So without further ado guys, let's jump into meal number one. Oof, I am so damn hungry, guys. So this is the first meal of the day and it is also my post-workout meal. So I'm really, really ready to get into this. So considering it is also my first meal, I'm gonna be having my vitamins and minerals for the day. So this is going to be vitamin D, in the hatch, calcium, and fish oil, down the hatch. I've never ever had a problem with swallowing pills. Well, <laughs> vitamins and minerals. Now I have been having a variation of this meal for quite some time because honestly, it's such a go-to. It, it ticks all the kinds of boxes and is absolutely delicious. However, the next two meals are really, really damn good. We're gonna kick it off with meal number two. That's gonna be healthy burgers. But before we jump into that, I wanna walk you through something that is very exciting and it is coming up very soon. And that is gonna be a The Gym Shark Blackout Sale, which is coming up very, very soon. So I just wanna quickly show you a few outfits that are gonna be my personal picks, my personal favorites, and also some ideas for you guys if you are looking to save on some great athleisure wear. So like I mentioned before, this is the Gym Shack Black Friday sale. Why did I sound, why did I sound so New York there? Gym Shack, Gym Shack. Well, this is the Gym Shack Black Friday sale. It is coming up very, very soon. So this is gonna be a preview of my personal picks from the sale. And trust me guys, this is an opportunity you will not wanna miss because it only happens one times a year and the discounts are absolutely huge. Not to mention, it sells out very, very quick. So make sure you save the date and be ready for when it goes live. So without further ado guys, here's 10 outfits that are gonna be available on the website on Black Friday at a heavily discounted price. Starting off with number one, where is it? Oh, I'm already wearing it. So number one guys is gonna be this nice Apollo long sleeve black t-shirt with a muscular fit. So this is one of my personal favorite cuts of material in terms of just the overall fit and feel and style. So it does fit very, very nicely along the arms and as well as the shoulders and the chest, but then tapers in nicely around the waist and the midsection. Gonna pair these with the nice Arrival 5 and shorts. These are my personal favorite for shorts right now. It's an absolute go-to. I find that a shorter short, they're definitely coming more into style, but also for my personal physique, a shorter cut of shorts goes so much better. Before we hop into the next outfit, I will mention that I am 175 centimeters. I'm currently around 165 pounds, and I will wear a medium to large for the tops, the jumpers, and the tanks. And then for the bottoms, I will usually go with a short, just because I find that I like a nice shorter fit, as opposed to having them nice and baggy. So so you can definitely upsize, but for the most part, you can just go true to size and it will be a pretty damn good fit. Also, I will be putting up every single discount for each outfit as we go through them. But if you wanna have a good overall look, you can have a look in the description and the discounts will be listed there, as well as all the details for the sale coming up. So that is outfit number one, guys. Moving on to outfit number two, which is gonna be, not this at all, but it is gonna be this beautiful crest jumper. That's what we're gonna kick off outfit number two with. And we're gonna pair these with some absolutely phenom arrival joggers. So these are more of a silk. The color is really, really phenomenal and the fit is usually where they stand out. So I would say this is a much higher quality material as opposed to typical cotton blends. But for the most part, guys, the coloring and the style, I think is what the selling point is for here. So these are the arrival joggers with the crest comfortable jumper. Nice switch up from number three. We're going from gray to black arrival joggers and we're gonna pair that with the 
fantastic camo arrival short sleeve t-shirt. So I find that camo can go very, very wrong, but Gymshark have hit the nail on the head with this one. It is not too tacky. It goes well with pretty much anything, honestly. Like typically, black, white t-shirts, they can go well with a whole range of outfits, but then so can camo and it just adds a nice little bit of, uh, a little bit more of style as opposed to just a typical white or black t-shirt. Moving on to an absolutely fantastic set, and that is gonna be the crest zip up alongside the joggers. So I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Rocky Balboa and I'm about to go for a run. This is gonna be the crest collection, so the pants, definitely more of a cotton blend as I mentioned before, the arrival was heading towards more of a silky direction, but this is definitely a standout in terms of just overall comfort and fit. I would call this a bit of a lounge attire. If you're going into winter, this is definitely the collection you want to go with. Overall, I will say that the joggers are a little bit tight. This is a small and I am feeling a little bit of compression around the calf. So if you don't have big calves, maybe just go through to size. But if you do have bigger legs typically, then definitely consider upsizing. Now we're also going to pair this one with a fantastic, this is one of my all time favorite collections. This is the recharge collection and this is the short sleeve t-shirt. So a very nice embroidered logo across the front. It's a little bit subtle and a little bit minimalistic and sometimes that is the best way to go. Overall, you cannot go wrong with outfit number four. Moving on to outfit number five, this olive green short sleeve critical t-shirt. This is one of my absolute favorites right now. In terms of comfort, but overall the coloring, I find this to be one of my favorite colors right now. It's six shorts in the sport shorts. So these are an absolute go-to. I will say that you cannot go wrong. If you're gonna get absolutely anything when it comes to shorts, the sport shorts are going to be universally good for pretty much anyone. But like I said, green, one of the really, really good colors right now, I would have to say so myself. And if you typically have darker features, this is gonna be a really, really good go-to color for yourself. So the sport shorts as well comes with a nice zip. This is one of the best things that I like about Gymshark is the sheer fact that uh, the high majority of their shorts actually have zips, which is, as I'm sure you can imagine, absolutely critical. If you're doing bench or you're doing squats, or you're doing something that relies to having your phone in your pocket and it falls out, it's never fun. So eliminate that altogether by having zips. It's good to go. All right, the new transition is to actually not do a transition. So outfit number six, guys, it's one of their brand new collections they come out with. It's called Evisalign. It's absolutely fantastic. Now I am just joking. But I will say outfit number six does come very, very close to nothing at all. Now leggings, guys, I'd have to say, I wasn't the biggest fan of male leggings until I tried on these bad boys. These are the element base layer leggings. Now normally, I would just find leggings to be a little bit too compressive, a little bit too tight, and didn't really have a nice aesthetic appeal to them anyway. But until I put on these, because they actually have this nice ribbing, this nice pattern and material, it's comfortable, I'm gonna have to say. Now we are pairing the Element Base Layer Leggings with this very, very good Vital Seamless Short Sleeve T-Shirt, which is gonna come in teal. This is absolutely sick. The color, I wasn't too certain of at the beginning, but I will say I'm definitely coming around to it because it is a nice little touch. Moving on, guys, to another very, very good part of the Vital Collection, which is my personal favorite from the collection altogether, and that is gonna be the, the Black Quarter Zip. This is absolutely sick, man. The, the fit, the comfort of this, and the style, it is pretty damn good, I will say. The, the ability to put it up, have that as a nice little bit of a turtleneck, but also if it gets too hot, if you're on a bike, if you're running, if you're doing this, put it down, show up the chest, and you'll be good to go. This outfit looks good as it is, but we can definitely step it up a notch. And we're gonna do that by throwing on some beautiful red sport shorts. Like I mentioned before, sport shorts are an absolute go-to. You cannot go wrong with them. Whatever your color preference is, they got black, they got red, they got a few other ones that are gonna be on sale as well, so make sure you lock it in your calendar, guys. Remember to jump on and pick some of these up because these will go first and foremost. These will go out the door. I promise you within at least a few hours, man, they'll be sold out. So you definitely wanna be at your computers or on your phone when the sale actually goes live. Moving on, guys, the next outfit is gonna be this nice black dry drop arm arrival tank. So as you can see, it's not too extensive. It's more of like a, a sleeveless t-shirt, I suppose. You can think of it that way, but it is a nice fit. So if you're someone who has uh, more broader shoulders, you wanna hide the abs and this or not, you can definitely go with this one. This is more of a personal cut for yourself. But for me personally, I like the drop arms where it comes all the way down. Just reveals a little bit more of the aesthetics, but uh, for the most part, it's all personal preference. So we're gonna pair that with the white sports shorts. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of sports shorts that are gonna be on sale because they are absolutely phenomenal. You can't really go wrong with them. Next outfit, guys, is gonna be a little bit similar, more of a 
color switch than anything, but as I mentioned, so this is more of a drop arm t-shirt as opposed to a tank. So it does drop all the way down, it reveals a little bit of the serratus, a little bit of the abs, and that is good if you wanted to, but if you don't, definitely go with the alternative there. So we're gonna pair them with the sport shorts, the black ones, and pretty much guys, just giving you a little bit of variance, so if you do prefer certain colors, you like to go more neutral, you like to steer away from the overall colorful vibe, then you do you. But overall, there are some really, really good variants that is gonna be available this Black Friday with Gymshark. Well, last but definitely not least, guys, is going to be this vital long sleeve seamless. So similar to the quarter zip, this is a little bit of a different variation. It has a nice ombre going on here, but for the most part, it is just a super, super duper good fit. So if you do like more of the compression wear, but not too compressive, this is the collection to go for. So pairing those with the Arrival 5-inch shorts again, so olive green again, this is my personal favorite color for the sale that is going to go on very, very shortly. All right, guys, that is all the outfits done and dusted. So if you have any questions regarding the sale coming up or the fits of the clothing, colors, materials, or anything else in between, let me know down in the comments and I'll get on that ASAP. I will list every bit of detail from each and every outfit that I just listed, as well as the key dates for the sale when it goes live and everything else in between that you wanna know. Because honestly, guys, this sale will go quick. The items move like nothing you've ever seen before. You think cheaters are quick? No, the Gymshark sale is quick. They go out the door just like that. So I want you to note it in your calendars. November the 13th, 7 p.m. GMT. That is when it goes live and that is when you will try your absolute best to be at the computer on the phone. Because honestly, like I said, the things that you may have seen in this video that you want could go out the door in an hour or even two hours. So you must be active if you are looking to pick something up. Also, if you are planning to pick something up, I would greatly appreciate it if you did so going through my link, which will be in the description of this or also in my Instagram bio on the date that the sale does go live. Doing this is just a very, very easy and no extra cost way of supporting myself. So it is just a commission link and pretty much if you are looking to pick something up, it's no harm done and I would greatly appreciate it. So thank you guys in advance. Now let's hop right into mill number two, but first, coffee. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a beautiful homemade iced coffee that is probably just as good as Starbucks. Pretty much all you need is one nice espresso. That's it. So you can do a double, you can do a single. It's all up to you and your caffeine preferences. From there, guys, you need to fill whatever canister you're gonna be using up with ice. Fill it to the top, that's all you do, and then put the Nespresso in after you left it for about 30 seconds to cool down into the ice, and then the main key, the main component, is gonna be the milk. It is so important. So I'm gonna be using uh, dairy-free milk, so I'm gonna be going with oats. That is my personal choice for when it comes to coffee. Then also on top of that, this is a barista edition. So if you can find a milk that is geared towards coffee, you'll find for the most part, dairy-free milk usually sets in really weird to coffee, but if you get one that's specifically geared for it, I guarantee you, it'll hit different. So, where were we? Mill number two. All right guys, mill number two is on the way and this is gonna be a sick one. So we're gonna be making healthy burgers and this is gonna be sick because not only is it gonna be nutritionally packed, but it's also gonna pack a good caloric punch. So if you are trying to get the most out of your meals, then this is gonna be awesome because it's also gonna taste good. We don't wanna be eating huge large meals, especially if they're gonna contain things that aren't gonna be the best in terms of actual taste and in terms of enjoyment. So we wanna make the best of both worlds and that is what we're getting from this. So without further ado guys, we're gonna whip up a nice healthy burger. Pan on the stove, I'm gonna put that on a nice medium heat. And we're gonna go in with just about one teaspoon of oil in there just so it does not stick. Bad boys, grass fed beef, always high quality, that is the way to go. One in, two in. So for these ones, we're gonna go for about three minutes on each side and that should make a nice healthy burger. So while that is going, just preparing the bread. So I'm gonna be using a gluten free bread. Um, the only reason I'm not using rolls is unfortunately because rolls don't really come in gluten free. So I would be using a roll as a typical burger, but for this, I'm just gonna be going with gluten free bread. So because we're having two burgers, we're gonna go with four pieces of toast in there, just gonna nicely, lightly toast them. All right, the burger's all good. Just gonna turn the heat off and we are going to let them sit while we prepare the bread, which is just gone ready, let's go. All right guys, just for this, we are going to go in with about 50 grams of avocado. 50 grams works out to be just about a half of an avocado. And now we'll spread it. I do not trust people who don't like avocado. It is such a good addition to like any meal. Obviously I'm not gonna just eat a whole avocado on its own. What I'm saying is if you've got an avocado, put it on some bread, put it on anything and it makes it taste better. It just adds this freshness. A little bit of spinach on top just for some greenage. And all we're gonna do is go in with one teaspoon of a low sugar chutney, so we're gonna mix that up. All that is left to do is just go in with 
the burgerino. What we're gonna do, guys, is uno, dos, and if you're so inclined, you could also chop it in half. Wash your pan directly after cooking because while it's hot, it's a lot easier to get off all the stains. It's a major key, and it will save you so much time going forward. That is an absolute banger. Look at that. Juicy as all hell. And that is meal number dos, AKA afternoon tea. So I'm gonna be having this. Um, clearly not the most aesthetically pleasing meal, but neither is McDonald's and we can all agree that that tastes delicious, right? I'm not into Maccas, I haven't had Maccas in forever, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that McDonald's does not taste good. And this, on the other hand, tastes good and is healthy. So that is the best part about it. So the macros and calories for this meal is gonna be 81 grams of carbs, 57 grams of fat, and 48 grams of protein for 1,044 calories. So essentially guys, when you're having such little amounts of meals and you're trying to get in a lot of calories, my biggest recommendation to you is to increase the amount of fats that are coming in. Because as you can see, it's not the biggest meal. Some people might struggle with this. I definitely will not. And it is really, really jam packed with calories. Honestly, two nice, delicious hamburger sandwiches. It's gonna be absolutely sick and it comes out to 1044, 1044 calories. So that is sick. I'm gonna dig into this, guys. We've got one meal coming up and that is gonna be a healthy pasta. We're gonna get right into it. I'll see you at meal number three. All right, guys, meal three is here and we are gonna get right into it. So this is gonna be dinner and as I mentioned before, it's gonna be a healthy pasta recipe. So we're gonna get right into this one. If you like pasta as much as I do, I guarantee you, you will love this. So without further ado, let's jump right over to the stove and we'll get it going. So for this one, guys, we're gonna be using two pans. However, if you would like, you can just use one and make sure so you take the pasta out and then start cooking the other thing. But for an efficient way, we're gonna be using two. So first things first, guys, we're gonna boil a nice pot of water. And whack that on the stove, bring that to a boil. We're gonna put in a little bit of pink salt, just like the Italians do. So once that boils, we're gonna put the pasta in. The pasta we're gonna be using for today is going to be a red lentil pasta. So this one here is gluten-free. If you react well to gluten, you can definitely use a regular pasta, but I really prefer this one, just from a taste, texture, feeling on the gut perspective as well. It actually packs more protein than the typical gluten pasta that you'll find in the stores. All right guys, now that it's come to a boil, we're gonna go in with 200 grams of pasta. We cook that up for eight minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna get started on the second part of this meal. So we're gonna be bringing this nice big pan to a medium heat, and then we're gonna be cooking 150 grams of lean ground beef. So this is 95.5, 95% 95 lean, and then 5% fat within that. So that for every 100 grams, you're gonna get about five grams of fat. Quick math, just a little bit of olive oil in there about five grams. Now heat it up, we're gonna go in with 150 grams. Then once this is golden brown, we can now go in with the sauce. All right guys, so that is nice and golden brown. We're gonna go in with the sauce. What we're using today is a nice gluten-free and no sugar added pasta sauce. So these are pretty good as long as you make sure you're checking the labels because sometimes they can put an abundance of sugar in these, which is gonna make it taste good, but not be too healthy. So in with this. So we're gonna give that a quick stir around and then we're gonna cook that for just about three minutes until this is done and we are done. So we're gonna go off with the pasta. If you want to be skilled and lazy like myself, you can just do it this way. However, if you have a strainer, go for it. Use that by all means. All right, so we're gonna move the pasta sauce down to a low heat. We're gonna let that nicely simmer and we're gonna put in an absolute buttload of spinach. Now this is one of the best meals because similar to cooking things like eggs, if you are cooking things on the pan, you can put in a whole abundance of greens and it's just gonna really get nice and mixed in there. Like this, it looks like a lot, but trust me, in about 2.8 minutes, like right, bang, and there you go. So then you just stir it in and we're absolutely good to go. As you can see, half a bag of spinach turns into not a whole lot. Now, all that's left to do, guys, is just stir in the pasta. So we're gonna turn the heat off now, stir it in and let it just sit so it can cool down so that when we eat it, we don't get burnt. All that is left, guys, is to plate it up. Bon Appetit, so pretty much we're in Italy. Just that is what it is, but this looks absolutely great, guys. I, I know you can't deny that. So if you're a pasta lover like me, this is gonna solve the issue of the pure fact that pasta is usually not the best option when it comes to eating healthy and trying to get in a good amount of nutrition. But this is solving that issue. So pretty much, guys, the macros, calories, and whatnot for this meal is gonna be 142 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 86 grams of protein, holy guacamole, coming in at 1,100 calories. So as I mentioned before, fat was really a huge component of the first few meals. This one is gonna be pretty damn carb heavy. The macro stuff is what is going to matter, the big things. If you can get the big things right, the little things, 
if you really want to dial it in, the little things you can then start to focus on. But for the most part, the big things is going to get the job done. So that is the end of the full day of eating, guys. As a total, it's going to be 347 grams of carbs, 104 grams of fat, and 182 grams of protein, coming in at 3,180 calories. So that is a wrap for this full day of eating, guys. If you did enjoy, let me know by dropping a comment below, and I'll continue making videos just like this one. Drop a like on this video as well. And if you have any questions about the Gym Shark Black Friday sale coming up very, very soon, let me know in the comments below and I'll get on that ASAP. Also, quick reminder, lock it in. 7 p.m. GMT, Friday the 13th of November. That is gonna be huge. Also, if you are picking something up, my link, I would greatly appreciate it if you went through that. No extra cost to you and it is a great way of supporting me. So that is a wrap, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Arigato, gonna go eat this mother effer and have a good time.